Hey everyone, welcome. Tonight, uh, Helpful Go Gaming plays Misspent Youth. Um, I'm Andrew Gilbert, and with me is Rachel. Wave, Rachel. Hi. Give a nice little wave with the cat. Wave, awesome. Rachel! <laughs> wave! Elise. Hi. <laughs> and <laughs> Lena. Hi. Uh, we will be continuing um, tonight's game from last week's game, uh, which was hilarious and fun and brilliant, um, and uh, gave you know uh, some amazing characters. Uh, we're probably not going to go into a ton of like recap of that uh, because I think this is we're starting kind of a, a, a new storyline. You, you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Um, but if you do have any questions, throw it in the chat, uh, and I, um, one of us or or someone who was here last week might be able to fill you in um yeah maybe <laughs> maybe we'll see we'll see how we're feeling we're all a bit punchy tonight and exhausted but hey games is uh, a way to, for some of us to kind of recharge and express some of those frustrations at the same time which is fun um speaking of frustrations the world's on fucking fire right now because <laughs> everything is just awesome um yeah, uh, and again, uh, helpful goat. Uh, we've we've had a lot of discussions here about about how much we want to continue uh, presenting a bunch of sort of silly content in a very very serious world, um, and and we've we, we believe very strongly that what we do is not an escape from games, but that games become kind of a distilled essence of reality for us, and it allows us to experiment and and try new things and and deal with frustrations in ways that recharge us to then also go back out into that serious world um uh to that end uh lately and we're going to continue doing so for the time being you can type in exclamation point blm black lives matter in the in the chat uh and you should be able to get a few resources uh that will allow you to um, look into organizations that you might be able to help or or uh, sort of ways of continuing the fight uh, now that some of the fervor has died down we, we still want to keep this momentum up um, for, for black lives uh, also uh, our exclamation point donate uh, which usually kind of goes to our coffee page uh, is, is instead uh, situated on, on organizations um, that can specifically help uh, with <laughs> just, just some of the awfulness in, in the world but just yeah uh so so we definitely want to um draw some of our focus to to this um while we're still being silly and stupid and um goofing around and recharging at the same time um uh, i forget what our layout looks like do we still have a little banner as well at the top currently okay currently yeah, okay awesome uh Oh, not currently. Oh, never mind then. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
That's true. You cannot hear Galway speaking to me in my ear. Um, uh, Galway told... wasn't talking, so don't trust Andy. <laughs> Gaslight me. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, speaking... <laughs> Uh, th we're playing a game in which uh, one of us, me, is an authority figure over the players in this really fun, <laughs> awesome, mixed up world that we're getting into. Just so everyone knows, I, I, we are somewhat aware of the optics of just a straight white dude being an authority figure over female players. Um, that it, it's it's yeah, so. Uh, this would be more, a little bit more of a problem for me if, if we all of us weren't working together to usurp that very authority. Um, but since we're all doing that and we're and I'm rooting for them, uh, you know, as much as possible, we we are aware of sort of what that looks like and are aware of what that feels like. We're not leaning into that by any means, and we're we're purposely avoiding some things, basically because we understand that can be somewhat problematic. Um, it wasn't exactly our intention. We just sort of, uh, I really wanted to play with these people and and I kind of wanted to run a game and it just sort of happened like this. Um, but just wanted to let everyone know we're kind of aware of, of that as well. Um, we have th uh, supposedly, maybe, Spire tomorrow night. Um, we have Spire unless... tomorrow night. Yeah, unless we'll Spire I'm... tomorrow, okay, that's cool. Unless I pass out before, <laughs> before okay. it starts. Okay. <laughs> um, and I wanted to let you know, uh, everyone, in case you're new or what's going on, we are, uh, we're are we not having a, a stream on Friday night, but we are taking all that energy and playing games within our Discord on Friday. Um, and if you type exclamation point Discord in the chat, uh, you can get a link to join our Discord. And if you want to play with us, that that's what we do. We play community games at least once a week. Uh, Lena's been awesome about making sure that we that we schedule something every week uh, to play with our community. Did the cat just run by the screen? Yeah. Is that what that was? He, awesome. he really, I made the mistake of, of getting fucking jerky right before we started going on video, and my cat has a jerky That's obsession, cool. and now he won't leave me or the bag alone, so oh, it's sorry. It's so cute, I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. And we'll have animals every once in a while I'm tipping in. Uh, to our stream but yeah uh, um, what was i saying uh focus andy so uh if you wanted to play games with us uh if you wanted to be a part of a community that just kind of gets together and talks about games we just started a conversation on pokemon go again which some of us are really excited about um join that conversation join us in the discord um and if you just kind of are lonely and want to hang out and play games and talk to people that's uh one of the best things that we can offer right now um to you guys because we're also bored and lonely and really crave human connection um and and this is a really good way for us to get it so join us please uh we really appreciate it um i think that's it as far as announcements and also um yes. the designer of this game robert ball is leading yeah. game publishing so his stuff is all I think like 50 percent off it's really good price and this is an awesome game system so go to he's <laughs> His, yeah. He's stopping sales um, after Friday. He's only doing it through Friday. So if you want his stuff, this is literally your last chance. And it's worth supporting him, and it's a good game, and I'm going to drop the link in chat. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Yeah, please uh, drop that link. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the discount that he's been offering is, is awesome. Uh, and yeah, all of us that bought something have gotten personal messages from him. Just at least like a, hey, thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. You know, um, seems like a really stand-up dude. Um, so, so give a little bit of uh, love to to Mr. Bull there. Um, awesome, yeah. Thanks for reminding me that. Uh, anything else? All right, I think we're yeah, I think we're good then. All right, uh, so let's start tonight's episode of Misspent Youth. Ooh. So, um, we don't have a ton necessarily to do in as far as creating the game, uh, which we did on last stream. Um, our artistic education authority is still our main authority figure in this world. Um, and again, it, it, if at any point you guys think of something new or want to try something new, just let me know. Um, but so far, this is what we've we have. Um, it, it is an uh, 
this this authority is uh, basically controlling every avenue of art in the world, uh, controlling the the sort of teaching of art, the production of art, and the uh, installation or or institution of art itself. Um, we believe that. Uh, this is an authority then that can tr that is able to control meaning in this world, which makes them entirely powerful and incredibly dangerous. Um, even though uh, a, 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 some of their art is is also just benign and like painting horses or or something like that. Um, the uh, the group, uh, and if you don't mind, just real quick, uh, saying your name again and just like a really quick kind of brief description. Um, so this little group, this clique, uh, was able to stand up to this authority. Um, and maybe we start with just Rachel, since she's on my top. There. That's right. On my um, top. Uh, I'm Stevie, and I... Is that I... how you sound? <laughs> like I'm Stevie. Stevie. I'm Stevie. And Did I'm... I do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> fine uh, i'm stevie there you go uh <laughs> i am the cool kid nice i uh, do everything i do for thrills and i'm trusted by so many people that i'm more likely to be trusted by people in the authority but i've sold out so that now i'm a true believer on some things and that's hard <laughs> <laughs> but <That's> awesome. uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's that's pretty much my thing i look real cool i got a jean jacket with patches and a whole yeah. shave and blue and green and pink hair i wrote all three that are allowed beautiful <laughs> it's me beautiful cool uh at least then what are you what are you like uh, my name is Misty, named for the retro throwback cool reference to Pokemon, the original series. <laughs> um, I am the bad kid. Um, mm -hmm. And what has been kind of most useful to us about Misty has been the techer, techie hacker kind of angle. <laughs> Um, in terms of being able to kind of like hack into things and kind of get stuff done from tech angle. Um, but also I think it's been kind of cool, like motivated by pride, um, kind of pride in art. Um, and, uh, and that has been interesting as well. Um, yep. I have not nice. yet had to sell anything out. So it's good. Yeah, you guys rolled so well last game. <laughs> very few of your attributes have had to sell out, uh, which is one of the main mechanics of the game. It's cool. Lena. Um, one of my yeah. favorite. Oh, just the, I love the way your character looks. <laughs> it's so <laughs> clear in my mind. I'm playing, um, I'm playing Titania. She's a um, kind of short, kind of chubby uh, little goth chick um she's she dresses like a uh, lolita um kind of the goth style so lolita so the ruffles and like the long sleeves kind of puffy sleeves and everything um and then the platform boots and yeah she's uh super tough she doesn't look super tough but she's super fucking tough and recently has become very vicious very recently because that was our last scene has become super vicious so we'll see how that ends up um she's also really in a counterbalance to her toughness and gonna be weird with her viciousness really really optimistic and really sneaky i love it i think it's so fascinating awesome yeah so that's the our little click um that that uh we've established here uh we have our authority um um, we do need to think of maybe another system of control um, that might crop up in this game. Um, partly because uh, the sort of um, yeah, so it was one of the things I think I, I think uh, I'll kind of just push the story along a little bit with is the the silver tongue implant that all of you got from the camp that you were at. Um, no longer 
functions because they turned all of that off. They thought you were dead, essentially. So, so that means though you don't taste food as much. You're just kind. Of, it's not going to hurt you anymore. Um, but you're also not experiencing a lot of in, intense, amazing flavors. Um, everything feels a little bit like oatmeal to a certain extent. Um, so, uh, so it's a little bit of a, a rough thing that you've had to deal with. But uh, again, that's that control that they had over you for doing that is no longer active in your in your life. Um, so we need to kind of think of a yeah another another sort of control. So we also had the AI therapist. Yeah. Is that still going to be? I mean, like. I think is so. Freud I around? think. I think. I think Freud, our AI therapist, has has. He's in the system. Exists then. in a yeah. much wider world. Okay. Yeah, it's not just a camp thing. Got it. Is what I would imagine. Okay. So I think that's still cool to have. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, how else might an authority control people? Uh, and it could be as simple as uh, those jackbooted thugs, we give them a name or something too. Um, kind of whatever you want. I think it would help if we knew more about the setting we're going to be in. Right, like if we thought about the setting outside Camp Compliance, which I've named it that. Um, <laughs> if we thought about the setting outside of that, that might help some. Yeah. Um, what do you, uh, I was thinking that you guys probably would have escaped to kind of a bigger city just because that might lessen your chances of being found, as well as giving you some opportunity to do what you can to help uh, to help Janet and Kim sort of present some of Janet's art, uh, if you wanted to. Um, so I was thinking maybe kind of a futuristic city sort of scape. How does that grab you? Yeah, I like that. I think in that case, that like a system of control, it does make sense to have like kind of a militarized police force presence if we feel like, I mean, if others also like that idea of like, just kind of like the Ministry of Art has like, you know, they, they probably have some really nice name for them, but like essentially yeah. like enforcers who like make sure that, that like artists aren't getting too avant-garde and aren't like kind of right. starting yeah. to paint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not painting, you know, thick horses like that one guy that I tweeted. <laughs> I you guys that. see that? Aren't it. those so good? Um, I you don't see follow you, so. Well, I tweeted at Helpful Goat, so if you, you could see it on theirs, but I will find it. I put it in the Overwatch, in our Overwatch chat. It's in there. Oh, then I just fully ignored it, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> you put it in so many places I could have seen it. I was like, whatever, at least it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, whatever. Yeah, at least so, like, doing. if your horses are getting too thick, thick or, <laughs> um, you know, that they, they kind of come and, like, you know, take you to art therapy to correct. <laughs> correct. It should be like. Yeah, mm, the, like something like rev what 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 would an artist like? I'm thinking like as a writer, but like what wouldn't like an art like a visual arts person call like the revision process, revising and like touch ups and things like it should be something like that, like the revisers or like Ooh, editors, yeah. you know? The I guess art like art is also uh, more broad God, than just visual. What are, what are the but... yeah? What are the people that like restore old artworks? Oh yeah, and stuff called restoration. Restoration. Rest yeah. Restoration. It should be like the the Department of Restoration or something like within the the Ministry of Art, um, and it's literally <laughs> that's awesome. just that's just their militarized police force. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it sounds so proper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the restorists. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's cool. Yeah, I think yeah. it's cool. Um. I have a friend who went to school for art restoration. That's not relevant to the story. I just thought it was interesting. And your friend's a wonderful person and not, not one of these. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cat. Shit. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Cat just stepped on the keyboard and trying to get to the turkey. Can the badges that the everything. restorists or restorers wear be that, Where like, be? Okay. remember yeah. what? Yeah. That the cat was attacking you? No, I just. Everything yeah. was gone, and I didn't know if it was oh, all done. Funny. Sorry, I didn't oh. mean to interrupt you. I was like, I was like, you were yelling about the cat, and then you're like, didn't you hear me? Like, I thought you were like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I was like, did I you was... want me to respond to you yelling about the cat? <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> Everything was gone. I just didn't know. He hit the Windows key and then typed in a bunch of fours, and then all the windows were gone. And I was like, 
Ah, Aaron, <laughs> please God, put this jerky away. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, can their badges be the the like Jesus that was restored so badly and it became a meme, but it's like the most beautiful, yes. terrible Jesus ever? I would love that. I don't know if it was actually Jesus or just a saint or something. It was, but regardless, it, it was Jesus. It was Jesus. It, yeah, it was, it was like Jesus. nice. It wasn't oh a God. real like legit restored person. It was like some yeah. like nice old lady. <laughs> yeah, and she was like, oh yeah, I can take care of this. <laughs> Painted <laughs> over. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. their badge. <laughs> Dang, those are some thick horses. You were right. Nice. Sorry. Yeah, I uh, like that. All right. Idea. Yeah. I that's brilliant. That system of control and an authority figure, specifically, I think, are those. Guys. So, are we calling it like Department of Restoration, and what are we? Department of Restoration, yeah, the the restorers who have just that badge. <laughs> yeah, I think it's brilliant. Uh, okay. Um, do do any of you have um friendship questions then that might pop up during this game? Could you remind um, me what page it's on of the I bleed? I, anybody has it up i don't know I don't like up, the sorry. i don't have i want to say i want to say it was like 19 or 16 by page number not by pdf number or by pdf number i'm not helping very much <laughs> you're good no you're good no um, uh and we'll try to we'll try to mix 19. up the people with uh friendship questions so uh titania why don't you ask uh, why don't you ask Misty a question? Uh, Misty, why don't you ask Stevie a question? And Stevie, why don't you ask Titania a question? Does that make sense? I wasn't listening. I can't, like, focus on more than one thing at once, and I was trying to find the page. Um, <laughs> who am I asking a question? Me. Uh, Titania to Misty. Oh, okay. no, at least. Yep. I was paying attention. All good. And <laughs> Stevie to Titania. Cool. So, uh, again, while they're kind of looking this up, um, these are just quest like kind of vague questions, maybe with a little bit of a weird history specificity in it, um, that that is sort of an unanswered question in their friendship, specifically. Um, and it can allude to a past that they might have, also, uh, it could, uh, it, it's often used to maybe propel the story forward a little bit uh, and develop a scene that we're about to encounter. Oh, I have a good one for you, Elise. Okay. Um, Go for it. What are you afraid I'll find out about you? Okay. What are you afraid? I'm sorry, you just cut out. <clears throat> You just cut out. What was that? I'm sorry. Uh, my question was, what are you afraid I'll find out about you? Ooh, I like it. Very nice. Very interesting. Um, I have a good one for Stevie, and it's going to be a little bit of a curveball for you. Ooh. But... My, but you know how like your thing is like rumors and information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know how you found out I have a crush on you. <gasps> wow, <Gross>, Elise. <laughs> Elise, I'm married. <laughs> I love it. Fascinating. All right, and then well, yes, so the sorry. Titania, nope, you're good. I like to write things down. Um, okay. I... I have two I'm, like, bouncing back and forth between. Yeah. Um, but I think... I think I'm leaning towards which of us needs the other more. Hmm. Well, that's actually really interesting. Yeah. Um, because I feel of... like we have very different character archetypes too. Yeah. And our interactions absolutely. are very different. So. Yeah. 
Also, I it's... just saw chat and Tibby said drone enforcers. And I 100% think the Department of Restoration should have some drones sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like we did, okay. get we had drones at the end of the last one. Not to make things too hard on ourselves. Sorry. No, that's it's brilliant. Okay. I just no, love it. I just love it. We yeah. did have drones at the end of the last one, so it does make sense. Do yeah, well, that could be absolutely a part of what they do. Yeah, how they surveil. Uh, should Lena? What was your question to Elise again? I'm sorry. Uh, what are you afraid I'll find out about you? Okay, thank you. I'll sorry, find Lena. Out find out about you should i change my mo or like adapt it some it was really super camp compliance island dependent uh what was your mo like smuggling and like kind of knowing oh, all the best smuggling. places knew, like all the hiding places and how to sneak things in yeah uh yeah you you we can change it a little bit or you can adapt it to this kind of greater world um I maybe, guess I've probably like been in the city. Yeah, or maybe you know the people to to talk to to hide stuff for. I was gonna yeah. say like knowing maybe. like yeah, get, having like your fingers in that network of like people who kind mm. of have the beat on the underground would be really cool. I think. And I'm assuming yeah. that I can just still in the same vein like know people to get rumors from and sure. the like, like find yeah. out what's happening and know everything that's going on. Okay. Yeah. Oddly, people confide in you, certainly. I wonder why. I'll never know. All right. Um, I think that clears up uh, any sort of uh, uh, buffering of what's going on here. So now we need to kind of figure what might be kind of an inciting incident or issue or problem you sort of want to have happen. Uh I have an idea, but but please, if if anyone has anything, feel free. Are we? We might have discussed this, and I forgot. Are we doing a time jump, or are we like starting this like right, like we're getting to the city from the island? Uh, I, I think a little bit of a time jump, like you've established maybe. Um, I would imagine you've you've established a, a little bit of a base of operations. You've been able to settle down, make sure the heat is off you for a minute, um, and then, uh, yeah, and then you sort of can kind of do what you want from there. Um, but, but yeah, uh, so I don't know a few a few days within a week maybe so of having time, but still time yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Does that sound good, or would you like more or less? Or no, I think that sounds good. Are we kind of set up maybe in like a safe house somewhere? Maybe like is no. or you know like are we are we like essentially on the streets, just kind of like winging it? You yeah, know? maybe I knew a safe house with my my the underground network stuff I know. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've you've established a little bit of a safe house. Uh, you've settled Janet and Kim down. Um, you've been able to. If you wanted to, you could show the artwork just to a couple of people, and they are letting you stay here for free and are are, are immediately on board. Like you're starting to Build create that like a very small but tiny grassroots movement here. Guys, the chat is open, and I keep seeing Galway's comment: drones shaped like thick horses, and I can't stop laughing <laughs> about the idea of like from that painting, like their big, thick, chunky legs, like wide stance, just like flying, like this yeah. big, you know, not like horse size, but like this big, just like through the city. Uh, yes, uh, amazing, brilliant. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As as a way to as a way to try to make these drones unobtrusive to the common folk to make them cute and the horses. Yeah. I wondered oh, how God. Galway responded so quickly to what you said, and I realized he is hearing us in real time. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Brilliant. Okay. I love it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had um, to get it out of my system. <laughs> that's good. Uh, so, so maybe one of the questions we want to ask is, what do you guys want to do to help out Kim and and Janet? Um, it might be interesting to like kind of try to set up, try to set up, not maybe not an exhibit, or like what if what if she might, 
I wonder if she might be interested in doing some like street art for the first time, like on a building, and you guys have to gorilla it. Uh, How old is this child? <laughs> I think like <laughs> 10 to 12 ish. <laughs> Probably. Oh, okay. I was thinking like five or six last week. So, oh, I... <laughs> yeah. Uh, split the difference. Maybe eight ish. Yeah. Yeah. I think street art could be really cool. I do also like the idea of like trying to get somewhere where we have access to like a, because this is a futuristic society, like access to yeah. where we could distribute art on mass via computer yep. systems right like send it out so that everybody gets the signal at once or whatever and like we you know like the idea of like everybody yeah. sees it they can't unsee it from everybody's brain that's um, interesting yeah so so or and or uh, if you wanted to combine them what if you got like this underground journalist who could hijack some airwaves and just present the street art to as many people as possible and it still would involve kind of a covert some very small crew or something like that yeah i'm down the other thing that comes to mind and i suppose we could have this conversation in character is like um like do we know if freud from the island is the same freud as what's who's in the city because if they don't recognize us we do have the exploit that we can get around the ai therapist and the yeah. ai therapist is on everybody's fucking device and imagine if we fucking hacked freud like sending you know to like send out this I'm art sure. that we're like misty already kind of knows how to hack freud like yeah he's doing stuff hacking their systems a lot so, so like if kind we, of like, already done it get caught by the restorers with for something restorers for something pretty small so that they just take us to therapy right and then we like take the art with us to like show freud and like hack him at the same time to like distribute it yeah. that could be wow. really cool that's cool i mean it's risky but it's that's really awesome. risky. <laughs> yeah oh let's go risky here yeah is that what we want to do it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I, I I guess, yeah I'm asking yeah. the others. I'm... Yeah, Donna, Rachel, well, right? Think? We had, we wanted to make sure that we weren't just utilizing this girl's art too, right? So how do we want to um, tackle that? I guess like not just yeah. using her art, Good just point. being like, yeah, yeah. you know. So I mean, maybe it could be like, maybe we could go around. Maybe that could be like a end thing that we're working towards but it could be that we go around and collect art from like mm. underground people that we know that like, right. multiple, like that you would know all the rumors of like you know where all the people who right. are like doing underground mm -hmm. art work and so maybe we could then utilize everything we need and, and then, then our kind of final zine. play is and then give the... i just really want to make a zine it's fine <laughs> uh make a zine and and then go and hack freud and send out the zine with all the different artwork in it that way yeah yeah that sounds like a really good plan that's cool yeah i like that a lot to the streets uh, all right so what's the first step to such a thing um i think Finding okay what artist sorry no that's great. Finding another oh, artist sure yeah what if there's like an underground like gathering or something that we get gr word of via Stevie's rumors network and we're trying to get there yeah um yeah that yeah that's really cool uh I, I, I want to raise the stakes a tiny bit already what if what if what if the person you need to find like the the person that kind of knows all the rumors knows the underground stuff is currently being held in like their happiness coordinator center like it's not super super guarded but they are they they the just are that I know that until I would they get to... until they get happy again <laughs> yeah uh, so so if until they that, paint a good horse right until they paint a good horse once they paint like a good regular horse not thick horse yeah <laughs> not they a thick horse just a regular horse. horse they can leave because then they're happy paint um, a horse in a meadow and you can leave <laughs> yeah <laughs> no so, weird shapes or colors so so yeah so if we did that that would be our authority figure uh with the happiness coordinators um it would be uh, I think I can describe like the first five seconds 
of you guys sort of slipping in to this place. Um, let's say that you've been able to find some uniforms uh, that are all just drab, normal authority, art authority uniforms. Um, and you're able to art slip authority. in with, uh, with some of the food carts that are going in for the cafeteria. Um, so let's maybe start there. What what do you think happens at that point? So, Titania, do you know where, or Stevie, either of you, do you know where they're... I think this might be more a Titania thing. Like which room they're held in? Is there a schedule? Do we... Could we get a hold of a schedule? Yeah, I definitely know all those things because they just make shit <laughs> up in this game. Um, yeah, so they're being held in room 3B, and last I saw of a schedule, um, maybe Stevie can confirm this, is that they have lunch around noon, and then that's when the guards are the lightest. It's actually closer to 1215, but you are almost right there. So, well, so great, close. because it's 1155, so if it had been noon, we'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Whew. We are with the lunch uh, carts, though, so... My yeah, contributions so... are meaningful and important. <laughs> so you uh, you push the lunch carts kind of in place uh, and start heading to, to the room that room uh, to find the artist. Let's call them Brackage. Um, and you're trying to find that artist Brackage. The uh, the very stout uh, lunch person uh, saddles up to in, you you all in front of the door and puts their hand against the, the side blocking your exit. We must make a good amount of lunch today. You help, yes? No. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's he doing? He's wearing shorts. Oh, okay. Those are pants. <laughs> <laughs> There's a type of pants. Some some it's class of pants. Type. Short pants. <laughs> Short pants. You you want to make lunch today? Yes, yes. And I think I want are to. Are we in cafeteria uniforms? Uh, no, just Sorry, normal. Just, Every everyone's okay. in the normal. Where's the same uniforms. things? Okay. Yeah, there's not a difference between cafeteria. Yeah. Um, is this struggle, are the states of this struggle whether we have to cook lunch or not? Yes. So, <laughs> yes. So, the ho- what is your hope right now? That the, the don't goal have to alone. cook lunch and we the can go. The authority is to try to force you to stay here and cook the lunch. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to cook lunch <laughs> and we do want to find brackage so the right. goal is to not end up cooking lunch and find brackage yes mm-hmm. not a no cooking lunch without getting outed as intruders <laughs> yeah sure. i love it all right uh who would like to stand up then the the person is sort of shoving you back into the kitchen uh um, come, I come can, now i can stand up please roll i'm remembering now i roll. need to stand up and roll first before i say what i'm gonna yeah. do which I never fucking did last time. All good. What I get? Yes, you got the seven. We have so, the seven. Hey, oh, that's the first time yeah. that's ever happened. I'm Very not good. a horrible failure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, nobody said that, Rachel. So. Oh god, well, I jumped to conclusions here. Woof. Um, does she have a name tag? Do uh, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, or you said person, so I don't want. Well, I'm assuming person, it's a lady. Yeah. It's do uh, they have a name tag? Fairly androgynous. Um, it is Darkik. 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 Darkik make the lunch. <laughs> so we're <laughs> we're trying to get away from Darkik to go save Brackage. Just sure. Without blowing our cover. Without okay. blowing your cover. Yeah. Whatever the fuck a lot of like covers. hard syllables to come out of my mouth. It's fine. Um, hey, Dark, you know we're not on lunch yeah. duty right now. We need to go and uh, check on the prisoners. Prisoners? Are they called prisoners? I would know, right? No, yeah, just ha- happy. You uh, know, we like can... Dark. I would love, love to help make some delicious lunch right now 
But I gotta go clean the shitter. And if that doesn't get cleaned, then <laughs> you know they're gonna uh, be so, bad. Yeah. So what are you using uh, here? What is oh, your attribute? Uh, trusted. Trusted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or be uh, it, that sells up to believer, right? But I thought I still get to have the a the the attributes of trusted. It's just that, or did I misunderstand? It, it, yeah, it's an intense version of it. Yeah. The, but I mean, you have... that kind of make it better for Stevie because, like, right. Stevie now kind of believes it. So, like, she's even better at lying about these things. Oh, right, hundred percent. Yeah. Toilet really needs to be clean. <laughs> yeah, you believe that one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to like, I basically want to like convince her that we have a worse job that we need to go to do, you yeah. know, and otherwise yeah. we totally wouldn't be backing out. Very good. Yeah. Uh, they grab a ladle and and sl slam it into your head for just a second. No, you cook. You don't clean the shitters. And then now they're now they're pushing you over to the fryer. Uh, and this thing is like bubbling. <laughs> Uh, um, I'll there's a bunch of potatoes in. to the left. <laughs> Who'll stand up? Yeah, I'll stand up. Okay. Okay, come on. Six. A six. All right. Very okay. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to. <laughs> what is this person like? Like physically, what are they like? Uh, they are so... just a very wide person. Mm -hmm. Uh, a little heavy set. Hard to tell gender. Uh, okay. There aren't yeah. a lot of markers here. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, hair in a bun, like really okay. tied up in a, in a yeah. In a um, I'm going to use pretty, which is the first time I've used pretty ever to do something. All right. And I'm going to like shake my hair out so that it's like falling really nice. Um, and just kind of like look like into the potatoes and like take a like deep smell of it and be like, oh my God, what was their name? Uh, their name was Dark. <laughs> Darkic, yep. Darkic, it smells so good. And like, you can't let Whoa. us touch it. We'll ruin it if you make us touch it. We'd rather just see you work your magic, Darkic. Oh, you want to see Darkic work magic. <laughs> they roll up sleeves, <laughs> big hairy arms uh, here. They kind of shake out their hands and they just kind of start going to town. Uh, chopping potatoes, peeling potatoes, throwing them in the vat. Like uh, every once in a while, they'll look back. <laughs> yeah, they'll look back every once in a while, but but mostly they're focused on what they're doing all of a sudden. Yeah, they seem just kind of enchanted by you. Um, and at this, one of the other cooks like kind of runs over and says, I know what you're doing. You, you have to take me with you. You're escaping, aren't you? You, you got to take me. I'm, I'm so unhappy here. I'm so unhappy here. And they're starting uh, to be kind of a scene a little bit. You, you, gotta, you gotta take me. I'm, I'm just, I'm so unhappy. And I claim number 11. Please. So I'm gonna Please. stand up. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna use my optimism to talk to them and go, hey, yeah, we can like totally take you with us, but also you gotta shut the fuck up and quiet the fuck down. Um, if you help us out here, like, yeah, I mean, when we go off duty, yeah, you can totally come with us. Like, right? Tit for tat, that's a term phrase that people use. And you can come hang out with us and it will be so much fun because we're really cool and you're really cool too. You're super cool. And you're super good at like being really calm and relaxed. And I really appreciate that about you. So just lean yeah, into yeah. that, boy. Yeah, 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 calm and relaxed, calm and relaxed. Oh, oh, oh. Picture well, fake You didn't horses. say finish yourself. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Picturing the thick. Okay, thick horses. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Uh, that'll take him even further. You better calm down. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Let's. You know what? There's there's a back way out of here. We can just we can just go there. We can just go that way. Great. Yeah. It, that's the way you came in. It seems like. And he's kind of trying to lead you a little bit that way. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> well, we, yeah, uh, I think we can... Right? Yeah. R right, but first we had something to do here. That's why we, yeah, we, we have stuff to do. Um, 
but you just gotta stay calm and you can do those things with us like hang out you want to hang out with with misty she's so pretty and stevie she's so cool you just want to stay calm and hang out with them and me awesome. i'll kick your ass if you leave and me <laughs> <laughs> listen here's here's how it goes you get through one more lunch shift without us being on that lunch shift yeah we all leave together when we get what we want and you make what? it through one more lunch shift without okay, us. What, what, what are you, what is it you want? What are you trying to do? Mm, that's for us to know and you to find out, my man. Okay, that's weird. Um, uh, okay. Uh, just one uh, more, just one more, one more lunch shift. No, I, this is, no, you take me out of here now or I'm, I'm telling the, I'm, I'm telling the authority. And he starts now toward the door toward the cafeteria. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone, unless you take me right now. And he opens the doors really big. God, can we just straight up <laughs> kill this I guy? I stand up and use my cuff. Okay. Uh, hold on, yeah, let well, me. Yeah, you have to. I take that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, well, I just landed on that. So. Oh. Uh, that's so, yeah, I, I stole a five there. Uh, and... Uh, um, that means that you technically l are going to lose or be unsuccessful at this unless, uh, Lena, you sell out to something. So, like, losing means we work the one shift, right? <laughs> um, or, no, probably with this, losing this guy, because it's no longer us and the lunch person. This yeah, is this us. This guy just thinks we're trying to escape. What is he yeah, but he do? said he straight up is going to go yell to everybody that we're infiltrating the authority. Yeah, that and, like, yeah. You're right that that would <laughs> <laughs> and I don't trust Andy to go easy and be like, nobody listens to him. Andy is going to be Andy. I mean, like, can you imagine that he's dark. up there like, they're trying to escape and Mikey comes in. We're all just like chopping potatoes, like very <laughs> serenely. Like, there is something to the fact that like, <clears throat> you know, like throw him to the wolves. And like, in theory, the outcome is we cook some potatoes. But that's not yeah, probably going to happen. Yeah. What do you Make think? Lena just do what they say in the chat and throw fucking grease on him and turn her vicious on. Jesus <laughs> Christ! You can't sell out vicious. Um, yeah. I know. Uh, no. Um. Fuck. Like, yeah. This is the last session, and we can sell out a lot before we lose. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna sell out. I don't know if I want to sell out optimism or sneaky, because I'm really enjoying being optimistic. But sneaky seems really useful, and what does it, sneaky well, sell out to? So it sells out to. It doesn't make you less sneaky, I guess. It just makes you what? untrustworthy, and you start compulsively lying, which does sound kind of fun, but also sounds like <laughs> maybe a problem. Um, <laughs> is there the option for someone else to sell out for you? Like, could I sell something out to win this? I don't know. Uh, I'm. I mean, I. Uh, I don't mind that. That sounds fun. If you have a good idea. I'm just idea, not sure. sure if that's part of Well, I don't. Yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's bending the rules slightly, but... What does bad yeah. sell out to? Well, bad sells out to perverse, but I was going to offer up pretty selling out to vain because... Maybe but... you could go make out with this dude right there as he's about to yell out, and then... <laughs> <laughs> you could just be like, yeah, I know you want it. I'm so great. I don't know. Oh, that's I don't know how vain people Ooh. work. I'm sorry. I, think that's I just suggest that you yeah. So I don't know. It'll cover his mouth. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't have I'm a sorry. great idea. I just have since I'm the only one who hasn't sold something out, I was gonna offer it, but Well, I just came up with your great idea. But like it's is it vain to just like start making out with somebody who's like having like a meltdown? <laughs> It's kind of just fucked up, actually. It's yeah, it, it yeah. is. That's true as well. It's a yeah. selfish act, That's more of like a pride, right? arrogant, right? Like yeah. my pride sells out to arrogance, and arrogance being like, oh, of course he wants it. Like who wouldn't want it? You know, <laughs> which is just shit. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so so Lena, yeah. Do you do you have something, or do you want to go with uh, Elise there? What do you like? It's so I can totally, like, I can definitely do either of these things. Um, what are you all more comfortable? Do you want to, do you have, like, an idea you want to do, Elise? Otherwise, I'm okay with selling out I, more. Yeah, I don't, I feel like nothing that I have, like, makes a whole lot of sense for controlling the situation via selling sure. out. So uh, we'll keep that as, like, a back pocket trick for next time, I guess. Okay. 
Um, so I'm gonna sell out sneaky because I can still be sneaky. I'm just also a compulsive liar. <laughs> um, and um, I'm gonna gonna go over to him and just start explaining to him the reality of the situation. So, like, actually, I know we said that we were, like, leaving and everything, but actually we are the authority. We're the authority, right? We're here on a incognito um, little checkup to make sure everything's going how it's supposed to be going here, and it's definitely not. This is a I'm mess. That fire oil hasn't been changed in, like, six days, and it's very dangerous. The potatoes are ugly. They're just ugly potatoes. I don't know where you got such ugly potatoes, but they're terrible potatoes, and I hate them. And you guys are going to fail, but if you stop making our jobs harder we'll make sure you get hurt the least oh, that's dark i love it <laughs> does this oh, mean she... you're a compulsive liar that you secretly think that the potatoes are beautiful i guess well, well, <laughs> well, potatoes. i think i think everyone also sees how sneaky this is and is like that's just you lied so easily <laughs> right there titania it's gonna be a little hard to trust you with some stuff i, I love it though i think that's fascinating so so he he shuts the doors then very slowly as everyone who's in the cafeteria which is only like a few guards and like two residents or something have just kind of been staring at him he shuts the doors and it's like uh, i'm so sorry is, is, is there anything i can do can i can I, I'm, I'm very happy i just i was i was just teasing earlier when i said i wasn't happy i'm just super happy i'm gonna go help uh dark Creek with the potatoes I feel uh, terrible. Cool. Bye. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like technically you've uh, succeeded then in this in this scenario. Yay! Um, so you've this been able to yeah you've been able to get out uh, of the cafeteria. Um, the the his sort of demeanor about listening to you makes all the other guards in the cafeteria immediately believe you are the authority. Just the way you just dress this kid down, like everyone else is like, yeah, year olds. okay, <laughs> He's yeah. Like, year olds. Right? <laughs> uh, so they all kind of nod at you as you as you walk past, um, and uh, you you know the schedule of Brackage. Um, he's he's in he's in uh, the room you mentioned, uh, and you went up and knocked Creepy. on the door, um, and uh, you just see him sort of surrounded by paintings of half-drawn horses he he seemingly is trying to get it right enough no. to get out of this but he just can't bring himself to draw <laughs> a normal good horse okay i'm gonna and he's just he's he's covered in paint his hair is a mess oh, it looks like i had an idea for this her. too but yeah go ahead <laughs> it looks like he well, hasn't slept or, or is just dirty uh, from several days of just trying to find the line to get out of here, but also maintain some sort of artistic merit. And he, he seems defeated. What would you like to do here? Well, it's, my, it, it's not a struggle. It's just yeah. My thought was that we could like break him out, but also I am a believer. And it's, you know, canon that I defo think that these drawings and paintings of horses are really cool and great art. <laughs> and so I was thinking I could also just like straight up paint a horse to leave behind in his room so that even after he breaks out, they're still just like, oh, I guess I guess he got it anyway. You know, like I thought I could in just walk in and be like, don't worry, I got yeah. this. And just like paint <laughs> some sweet ass horse in a meadow, you know, like mane blowing behind it, totally like would be hanging in a teen, a preteen girl's room, you know, like. Yeah. I mean, we can just all about you. it. Yeah. She's watching you do this, and everyone else, you just see kind of disgust on his face, like, oh, I, oh. And I'm just I like, up oh. I pick up a paintbrush and on another, like one of the canvases, start like making like a, th a thick horse. And I'm just like giggling as I do it. And then before we leave, I paint over it with white so that it's all okay. smeared and gross. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You see but yeah, I paint like a beautiful yeah. meadow horse. But the whole time, I'm just like, this is fucking great. I mean, these horses have chonker <laughs> legs. Art. Like, just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> art, Elise. I love it. Mm -hmm. Misty? I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Misty. Rachel's now starting to I know, right? 
I am. <laughs> Look at all my so horse painting. Play, Rachel. Yeah, I, horse yeah. painting. I actually, I have a Tina Belcher painting in my house, actually. Weirdly <laughs> enough, it's fine. It says butts on it. It's in my bathroom. Um, uh, yeah, I feel like I'd be painting it. And I'd be like, no, Missy, this is... This is what art is. This like is this? how. I'm just like wild no. outside. Horses aren't <laughs> thick like that. Horses are beautiful, graceful creatures that need to be mm. captured perfectly mm. and exactly. I can see the, the wind problem blowing and I short in its hair. snout. So that is really short. That's not what horses look like. You I focus see. on yours. You focus on <sighs> yours. And at the end, we'll compare and see who has the better horse. It'll be mine. <laughs> All right, uh, he leans over to you, uh, Titania, and is just like, who the fuck are you people? Why is this? Oh, um, we're from up north um, in the mountains. We li- we're from the mountains, yeah. Okay. Um, and we're here to kind of, um, you know, change things a little, right? Like, just start a bit of a, have a go at a, an adventure. Have a go at an adventure, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, we need you, you and say, you it's... need us. So let's what keep can, that can... in mind. I, I'm a failure. Look at this. I can't even draw a fucking horse. What do you need me for? I mean, he's right. He can't even draw a horse. I mean, shut up. Okay. <laughs> I've been trying everywhere. Look at all these. Yes, and we that's what we're looking for. We're looking for spunk like yours. People who can't draw horses. And I smack Stevie a little, just like, what the hell? <laughs> People who can't draw horses, that's what we need. Because just trust me, just trust me. We want you to make it out of here without having to do, and I gesture at Stevie's painting and, and mouth yep. that so that Stevie can't hear me. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> and we're going to show you something that's going to fucking blow your mind. And in return, we just need a little bit of help getting to a certain parte. I'm not cool, so that's oh, what I do. No. <laughs> Stevie literally just stops mid-painting and just turns and looks at you mouth agape, just like... <laughs> just remember, she's dropped at gorgeous as she does this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you're not with the authority. You're something else? Yeah. You could Sorry, say that. Did you say something? You froze on my screen. Sorry. I just said, yeah, you could say that. Ah. Yep. Yes. We hate. <laughs> yep. Yes. We don't like. Well, fuck horses. it. I ain't happy here. So. Great. Yeah, fuck horses, right? Right? Not I mean, really. phrasing. <laughs> right. Maybe don't fuck horses. I mean, t- whatever, teach your own. So, how do I get out of here? What can you. How can I help? Get in this cart and we'll hide you. You still have a cart, oh, right? Wasn't that a thing we had? Sure. You totally have yeah. a cart. Yeah, you brought yeah. a cart with you. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you, uh, you hide in the cart, yeah, in the cafeteria cart um, that I assume has, like, some draping on the side so I didn't just mm. see him sitting down there. Could um, we have brought some clothes in for him on the cart? Like, uh, like brought yeah. it smuggled in with us? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, you accidentally grabbed a shirt you thought was like uh, full length, but it's like a crop top uh, on him. But he, it's like a red sort of you know, like yeah crop top, and he he looks he's fucking sort of digging. fierce. Yeah. yeah, he looks pretty fierce. So it's fierce. awesome. But he's yeah he's hiding just under in, in that. And, um, but you got some normal clothes for him then. So uh, as I finish the horse painting, can I just be yeah. like, hey, uh, Brackage, do you? You you have like a, a signature you put on your art or something you want to just sign the bottom of this so that they know oh, that no. you painted no. it and no I can't I can't no I'm not gonna I mean, sign that I put I put a lot of work into this so that's bullshit. it's such a great horse right it's a lovely horse yeah, I, that's mean, bitch, Lita. <laughs> I was like oh thanks wait a second you compulsive liar <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, but like Stevie's just a little bit like, yeah, th- they, thanks. We don't think that there's any reason they would suspect a counterfeit, right? Like if if he was doing this for therapy's uh-huh. sake, maybe he wouldn't sign well, it. Would, yeah, who would who would do that for me? No one. So. Yeah, you're right. And I put the the cloth down on him and like push him back a little bit more forcefully than I need to. <laughs> okay, gotcha. 
Yeah, he's in there. Um, you finish the painting, it's beautiful. You leave it in the room. God you wheel right. him out. Um, you to go back out through the kitchen. Is there another Where way out that we know? Well, everybody thinks we're the authority if we go right, through the kitchen. Right, so uh, I think it's probably think safe so. to go back out through the kitchen. They all think we're... Yeah. As we go out through the kitchen, yeah. I the guy that we intimidated via Lena, um, via Titania's lie, I'm just gonna like out through the kitchen, just just to kind of happy. <laughs> so happy, everything's potatoes are happy. Um, I'm so um, sorry for this guy. <laughs> you can save him later. It's fine. We'll save him later. Yeah. Uh, so you wheel out, uh, you, you, uh, go out into the alley behind, you uncover him, uh, and he just takes a big deep uh, breath of fresh air. And yeah, I think that concludes the scene. Well Ooh. done. Excellent. You got him out. All oh, right. Good job. Yay. Uh, excellent. Excellent. So what is, what is our next step here? What would you like to do? Well, he was <clears throat> supposed to tell us what party was, right? With all the, the underground artists yeah yeah excellent yeah uh yeah if you're ready to go there he'll he'll lead you straight there so um you wait a couple hours for it to get to to nightfall um, oh wait we should we should show him um in the meantime just yeah. so he sees sure um, yeah, we should yeah. introduce him to kim and janet and ask janet if she'll show him her art yeah she kind of very sheepishly nods and grabs his hand and kind of leads him back to her her she made kind of a, a a similar sort of bedroom uh in this in this kind of like warehouse that you've been using as a safe house uh and she's got a couple curtains up and she pulls them back and again just her the whole area is covered in this most incredible beautiful art and he just drops to his knees in oh. front of it oh oh my god i didn't even i didn't even i didn't even know and I, you know, she, like, she kind of like nudges him and like hugs him just a little bit. <laughs> I pat his He's shoulder and I say, it together. "I told yeah. you, you needed us." <laughs> um, I so like to good. think that, like in the week that we did this, that maybe all of us yeah. have been trying our hand at some other art. Yeah, like some absolutely. Non- yeah. I li- I really like the idea, and this isn't mine to say, but I love the idea of like ho- like horses like creeping into Stevie's. <laughs> Like she's making beautiful yeah. other stuff, but yeah. there's always like a horse. like a perfect little horse yeah. in it. Like, like a bit of irony always. <laughs> yeah. In, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got like I some have... crazy abstract pieces and watercolors and things, yeah. but there's always just some kind of horse. Yeah. Hey, you want to hear? You want to hear a true story from Andy's life? Yeah, so I do. I had, a, I had an English teacher that said, "Andy, you can't write sentences. You need to write a sentence like the cat is black." And that needs to be the sentence you write. And you can't add a whole bunch of stuff to it. So in every paper I wrote for her from the rest of the semester, I wrote oh, no. the, the line, the cat is black, randomly in the middle of a paragraph. Somewhere. And she <laughs> never awesome. mentioned it. Never mentioned it. Really? Didn't, Amazing. I didn't even read my shit. I, I'm pretty sure. Aww. Why are there so many teachers that make me so angry at teachers? It was the worst. It was the worst. That's why you're going to change the profession, Rachel. You're going to leave the yeah. thoughts. That's what I'm working towards. How could you not read the things? That, <laughs> like, kids' work isn't that long. You could take the time to read it. Okay, sorry. I'll be quiet. It's fine. But that's what I imagine. Like this little bit of buff. Ah, fuck you. You told me to do this, and I'm going to add this, but it's ironic, and it's a my bit of a rebellion i love it i think it's i love that so you've all been working on different whatever kind of art uh, projects you want to uh you've been getting better you've been expanding your mind a little bit it's it's hard for you to sort of reprogram yourselves to do a little bit of this um but especially with brackage uh now you you feel a little bit more hopeful and you've been thinking and talking with with janet who who's been experimenting with some stuff too um yeah there's there's a little bit of hope for the art scene here you guys, you guys are doing well. Yeah. Um, so uh, Brackage gets everything together, he, and he's yeah, he's everyone needs to know about this. So I'll, I'll absolutely take you to 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 what I know. Um, it, it's a bit of an unconventional place, and well, you'll see. Come on. So so this will be kind of our I think the start of our next scene. Um, where do you think Brackage takes you? 